Anyone who told James White that graffiti-inspired rugs wouldn't cut it is no student of hip-hop culture. He's taken the art of the streets and with a DIY attitude, he's grabbed hold of accessible technology and just done it. Hey guys, come on inside. I'm James, AKA Henry Hamilton, and welcome to the home of Hamilton Rugs. My artistic journey started when I was about 10 or 11. Noticing graffiti on the highways was a big influence and also 90s skateboarding culture influenced me a lot. The designs really popped out at me. The bold colors and bold lines I really enjoyed. So I would say around when I was about 14 years old, I started painting graffiti and that really helped me with composition of artwork and knowing what colors would go with each other. I really thrived at art and design in high school and then after high school I studied advertising. Creating pop culture rugs wasn't on the career guidance list at high school or at college, so he put it there. I started to notice on Instagram people were making rugs with a machine called a tufting gun and I just thought wow I need to get one of those. A few weeks later my tufting gun arrived and my rug journey began. This is one of the first pieces I made using a punch needle. The punch needle gives a loop effect, whereas the tufting gun gives a cut effect. Let me show you how the punch needle works. It's just a one continuous loop with the yarn, and you go through the fabric. I find working with the punch needle quite therapeutic. The only downside of it, it takes way more time than the tufting gun. This is my tufting gun. It's a cut power tufting gun. What that means is each time it goes through the fabric, scissors come out and cut the yarn. So I've got my material here and I stick it through. So you'll see this process is way faster than the punch needle. If the immediate touch of a spray can nozzle under his finger is lost by designing like this, James recoups that in-person feel for his art by working in yarn. Each rug begins with me stretching the material onto the frame. Once I'm happy with the tightness of the material, I'll project my design onto the frame. I've always loved using bright colors, so I think that's also why I love using yarn, because the color selection is amazing. I love the texture that the wool gives on the hand. I feel like it gives the artwork a more functional feel in the house. It can be used as a rug or a wall hanging. When I project the image onto my fabric, I need to flip the image. So once I'm done with the design, I'll cut away all these loose strands and I'll glue the back holding all the yarn in place. Here are some of my completed designs. It's a mixture between commission pieces and some of my own artwork. I've taken inspiration from spray cans, sneaker culture, and of course, aliens. With my artwork, I like to create dream worlds. I feel like it takes a viewer away from the daily hustle and bustle of life. Making a place for that vision, a forward-looking gallery in Woodstock, Cape Town, has now offered James walls, not floors, for his rugs. The owner of the gallery contacted me through Instagram and asked me if I wanted to exhibit my pieces here. The cool thing about this gallery is that artists don't have to adhere to the strict rules that other galleries have in place. The inspiration for this piece came from the brand of spray cans that I use and uh, the nozzles on the side are extra caps that we use for painting graffiti with. Um, that's a banana cap and that's a New York fat cap. I would like to work with some big brands in the future and hopefully work up to a solo show where I can transform a whole gallery into my own imaginary world. Many young talents who make it with their own street-inspired businesses share James's roots in graffiti culture. They're all looking to make their own individual stamp on the world of brands and creative marketing. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage, and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 5.30. Repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.